You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a familiar face to Brockton viewers and listeners, too. John Drusinskis. Welcome, John. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Mark, and nice to be on again. You know. We are talking about the 101st anniversary of the Republic of Lithuania's Declaration of Independence from Tsarist Russia. From Tsarist Russia, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, Lithuania in the uh, community of nations is a little bit different from uh, from uh, other countries. We actually have two independence days, okay? And this is the one that's uh, mostly celebrated. The February 16th is the um, independence from Tsarist Russia. Um, March... Uh, uh, March of uh, 1990, March 11th of 1990 was the uh, independence from Soviet Russia. Right. So um, there's there's actually two days that are celebrated as I, I guess you could call them July 4th and Thanksgiving as, as far as as far as we go. So yeah. is there a, is, is is part of the tradition of celebration uh, one of my most favored drinks that I learned to acquire the taste for? Uh, yes, yes. I, I got you hooked on uh, what's called Krupnikus, which is a uh, uh, Lithuanian liqueur. Uh, I guess the, the, the closest um, approximation would probably be a honey mead, possibly, or a honey mm -hmm. after dinner drink, drink. Yeah, It's very smooth, but it packs a punch. It packs a punch, yeah. And yeah. not good yeah. for diabetics, but yeah. uh, I'll make an exception on one of those holidays. It's, or, it's warm going down. It is, yes. it is. Yeah. So on February 15th, the day before, yes. City Hall flag raising ceremony, Yes. 3 o'clock. Yep. Yeah. As you know, um, City Hall is not open on Saturday, so we had to move it the day before. And uh, there will be a flag raising ceremony there, out, right outside the uh, mayor's office. For people that aren't familiar with City Hall, uh, the flagpole, the indoor flagpole, is right outside the mayor's office. Um, we will have um, we will have a program. Uh, there will be comments. Uh, hopefully, we'll have our elected officials. Uh, I've invited uh, the entire Brockton City Council, our entire state legislature, and. Um, uh, our, uh, our Council One President, Knights of Lithuania Council One President, Monisa Bizankowskis, will be doing some comments about uh, the history and culture of Lithuania. And afterwards, we'll have some light refreshments and um, small cultural display. And of course, there'll be uh, Lithuanian Americans there to answer any questions of uh, any, you know, any, anyone that's interested about our culture or, uh, or history. And Brockton has had a proud culture and history with a lot of Lithuanians that came here. Yes. Um, yeah. Not as many nowadays. The nope. church was in Ward 6. Uh, the, and, the former St. Casimir's Church. But okay. now you're close by in Avon, St. Yes. Michael's. Yeah, yeah. about 80% of our parishioners that worshipped at St. Casimir's Church in, um, in the village are now over at St. Michael's in Avon. Yes. And really pleased to hear, John, um, that there's a village association that's been formed. and Newly you're, formed, You're yes. involved in that. Yep. Joanne Zygmunt. Joanne Zygmunt is our president. I'm the vice president of the newly formed Village Neighborhood Association, which um, I couldn't tell you our exact geographic boundaries, but it does encompass the, the village area and the immediate um, adjoining areas. Which you live in the heart of. I live right in the heart of the village, yes, have, have, for, have, have my entire life. I'm still in the house that I grew up in. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully, I mean, I know you guys will get involved and do really good civic things. Yes. Um, I was talking to Joanne the other day. Yeah. I, I think that's great. Yeah. I think that's an area that's ripe for development Absolutely. and rejuvenation Absolutely. and everything like that. Yeah. What I want, though, is I want some of those Lithuanian bakeries to come back. Because <laughs> when I was a kid, I went over there and... Well, I, I always knew the the days they were baking their 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 bread and um, their rolls and whatever else they were doing there because the 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 uh, especially in summer days when you have the windows open, just the the smell is incredible. Mm -hmm. The uh, the odors coming out of there were were just heavenly. You know? So um, on, we've been to this event before. Um, yes, I remember it going way back. When Carl Patara was the mayor of Brockton. Yeah. And, and Mar Marite, who was a classmate of mine. Yep. I was one of the few people that could say that name. 
Bizenkowskis. <laughs> I know her mother. I know her sister. And then when I met you, and yep. we had a former mayor of Brockton, David Crosby, who was was, was of Lithuanian descent. Right. A wonderful man. I miss him dearly. He died at a very young age, about 53. And the senior housing uh, that's in my neighborhood is named after him. Right. The Crosby Gardens. And yeah. the Crosby Administration Building for uh, the school department. That's and, correct. Yeah. Um, but nobody knows the secret that David Crosby loved libraries and had a Master of Library Science degree and wanted to be a librarian. Mm -hmm. Only his mother said that is not for men. <laughs> so he went to law school to be a lawyer and sounds, then became a community activist. That sounds reverse sexist it, or something. It was, yeah, but he yeah. loved libraries and, yes, and he yeah. helped me get one of my first, the only pure political patronage job I ever got in my entire life. At 15, I was a library page. There you go. That led to my lifelong love affair with libraries. That's great. So, um, That's great. Libraries but, are important. Yeah. But I love, John, I mean, this event will have a small sampling of re refreshments, but we're going to bring you back another time, and you're going to have another event coming up yes. on closer to the other anniversary, right? Uh, you know, Independence Day, yeah. uh, with all sorts of food, which is even better. Yes, yes, that's so. even better. You know, you mentioned the uh, flag raisings, and, um, you know, back in the day, there were, you know, every nationality does usually does uh, flag raisings at City Hall in... Um, including the Lithuanian community, and then for whatever reason it was discontinued. So uh, last year, um, the Knights of Lithuania Council one decided to um, to start that up again, and we hope to keep it going in, forward into the future, you know, uh, because there's no reason that, uh, even though we're a small community, there's no reason that the Lithuanian community uh, can't have a flag raising like the other nationalities. And I was fortunate enough you invited me and uh, myself and Phil went to I think it was was it the 100th anniversary? It was the 100th anniversary when uh, we had our um, um, our convention last year uh, in Dedham, and it was quite an event. Great singing. Had no idea what anybody was saying, yeah. but it didn't matter. Mu what brings people together? Music, yep. food, culture, culture. family, yep. all of that stuff. And yep. it's nice to know that the spirit is still alive in Brockton. I knew a lot of the uh, sisters that were also associated over at um, uh, St. Joseph Manor. Over on the Thatcher With Our Street. Lady of so so Sorrows. And yep. there were a lot of Lithuanian sisters yes. over yep. there. Yep. My, uh, it's funny you should mention that because my, uh, my first and second grade teacher is still in residence there, and she's still in pretty good shape. You know, Very so, nice. Yeah, yeah. So you grew up there, so you must have gone to Franklin back in the day. Maybe? No, I actually. Oh, you went, went to the. I went to the uh, the Saint Casmus, the, the parish school. Right. I went to K through eight. I went to Saint Casmus school, and then uh, high school. I went. I, I didn't go to uh, Brockton High. Uh, I went to their, what's now their their big rival in football, Severian Brothers. There yeah. you go. That's yep. that's right. Okay. Yes. But you know what? We we yeah we do play in the. That's a good team. That's yes. usually a very good team. Yep. So just to recap, flag raising ceremony, Lithuanian flag raising ceremony, yes. Brockton City Hall. Yep. Um, inside, there's an yep. inside flagpole right outside of the mayor's office because yep. February is kind of cold. February 15th at 3 o'clock. Yep. Light refreshments, cultural display. R there's an RSVP on here. Yeah, RSVP, uh, we, uh, you know, just for the, uh, the purposes of preparing the uh, light ref refreshments, we'd like to have a approximate head count of how many people are going to be there. So uh, we would like people to RSVP to me uh, by February 11th uh, to my phone number, 508-586-8599. And uh, you can just leave a message. Um, I have a, uh, the voicemail on there and just leave a message. Thanks, John. Okay. Always a pleasure. Okay, I thank you. The, I got the high sign, so I got to wrap it up. Okay, all right. Okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.